Hello and welcome back everyone, I am the Otaku, and today we are taking a look at the DLT-19X, or what I like to call the XXX. The DLT-19 is one of two free blasters introduced as HUT contracts during the release of the Outer Rim DLC. The 19X is a variation of the DLT-19 Heavy Blaster, modified to release all of its power in one shot, before needing to cool down. Now I'm sure most of you have unlocked this at some point, give it a few rounds, then quickly put it away after realizing how complicated and difficult of a blaster this is to use, especially on console. And I don't blame you, up until recently I had absolutely no interest in using it as it felt the risk was much greater than the reward. But since then a few things have changed. Not only has the 19X received some slight buffs to its accuracy, but with the release of Berserker, it has made for a deadly but sexy duo when paired with the 19X. So for now, it's time to go over the stats and learn everything we need to know, then be sure to stick around for all the best strategies and loadouts on how to use it. Pulling up the stats for the 19X, we want to first direct our attention to the damage chart in the middle. The 19X starts off doing 100 damage up to 6 meters, then it drops off very slowly and consistently over a long period of distance, going down to 55 damage at 80 meters. So essentially you can get a one shot kill at a very close point blank range, then after 6 meters you will always need two shots for a kill on the body, or one shot for a kill in the head. Next is rate of fire, the 19x shoots at 100 rpm or rounds per minute. This is one of the worst in the game, hardly beating out the CA-87 and Cycler rifle. Yet this is pretty much to be expected of a weapon that does so much damage. So to put it simply, high damage with very low rate of fire means that each shot is going to count for a lot and the difference between life or death in many situations. So players with poor accuracy should probably be weary of this one. Then the 19X does have a muzzle velocity of 600 meters per second where a majority of the weapons in the game are around 400 to 500 so expect the XXX to require much less leading of your shots when compared to say the Cycler Rifle or T21B. For those of you who don't know what leading your shots is, this is when you have a moving target and position your aim slightly in front of them in an attempt to have the target intercept with the shot at the aimed location. This is required because the shot would normally reach the target location too slowly and miss the moving enemy. However, with the 19X, your bullets are traveling so quickly that unless shooting from an extremely long distance, you really shouldn't have to lead your shots very much at all, just aim directly on the target and you should be pretty much good to go. After that is shots before overheating. This one is extremely important, as I'm sure many of you guys have already realized the 19X can only fire one shot before it automatically overheats. Then you have to wait 3.22 seconds for the heat to cool down completely before you can fire again. Alternatively, you can try your best to flush the cooling manually, but it can be quite easy to mess up after your second or third time, especially under some extreme pressure situations. Ultimately, just try to keep calm and collected when using it, and working with the manual flushing, so if you're that kind of player that just spazzes out and hits buttons accidentally when you're in heads-up gunfights, then you might have a little bit of a rough road ahead of you. The next is recoil. The 19X has a recoil pattern of 0.5 horizontal to the left, negative 0.4 horizontal to the right, and a staggering 2.0 vertical recoil with a first shot multiplier of 1. This one's a really tricky recoil pattern. Pretty much after each shot you can expect this to kick really hard upwards and then towards the left. And then finally we have spread. The 19X has a base spread of 0 but increases by a whole 1.0 after each shot. So not only does it have insane recoil, but it also has very crazy bullet spread after each shot. Now you might be thinking this doesn't really matter as it only shoots one round before overheating anyway, and then the time it takes for another shot to go out will give the recoil and spread time to cool down. And you are correct, normally that is the case and you would be fine. However, we're going to be want to be using something like cooling cell, so that isn't always actually going to be the case. And we're going to touch more on this in just a moment as we transition into strategies and loadout. So moving into strategies, the DLT-19X is best suited for long distance combat ranges, but that also depends a bit on your trade and loadout. The strategy is to sit back and shoot at enemies from a distance, preferably where you are engaging in a one-sided battle against opponents that are pre-occupied. 
I say this because its damage potential at long range is obviously much better than any other blaster, but the inevitable delay between shots, even with manual reset on the cooling, means that you're going to be extremely vulnerable for that period of time between the shots. Therefore, if you can engage opponents from a distance that can't effectively shoot back at you, or they're not even aware of your presence to begin with, then you're going to greatly increase your chances of survival and getting a good overall score. And while the 19X only does 55 damage at 8 meters or further, it is likely there will be many times where you are not engaging from this distance or from that far away. So you'll actually be able to take advantage of its increased damage, doing anywhere from 60 to 90 damage, and able to potentially score a one-hit kill on opponents that are already lower on health. So with that being said, I highly advise you pick and choose your targets, selecting ones with the lowest health first, guaranteeing you can get a one-shot kill and generally giving you a much better overall killing potential and benefit to the team. Based on this strategy, we want to really consider what game modes that XXX has the most potential in, and given some thought and testing, I have to go with Supremacy, Walker Assault, and Turning Point. Any of the big three are relatively safe bets when it comes to the 19X because of the map size and how well it facilitates opportunities for the 19X to do well. For loadout, really the most important thing you're going to need is Cooling Cell. Cooling Cell resets the cooldown on your blaster when overheated or prevents it from overheating while active. This will allow you to get multiple shots off. Just be sure to have the upgraded version of this or you're going to be stuck working with only a 3 second uptime as opposed to 5, which is not anywhere near as much killing potential. This is probably where I should bring up recoil and spread again. Like we mentioned before, the 19X does have insane recoil and spread. So using cooling cell and letting you get off multiple shots means that you are going to have to do something to compensate for it. Ideally, the best and pretty much only method is to simply force yourself to wait at least one second between shots. You will know the 19X is probably ready to fire again when it has completely reset back into its resting position after all their recoil has dissipated. Failure to do this will result in some really wild shots that can't possibly hit your target unless they're standing in front of the tip of the barrel, so you have been warned. For your trait, we have a few different options. You can run scout, sit back in your tactical position and shoot at unsuspecting enemies like I said. But I've been there and I've done that and it just really isn't that much fun. The 19X with only a 2 shot kill potential just isn't very competitive and it's more frustrating to use than anything. Instead, I really like to go Berserker, as in the trait. The idea for this loadout is that Berserker trait will allow us to get one shot kills at pretty much all distances and be super tanky with its damage resistance. Then feel free to maybe even use Back to Bomb to offset the Berserker trait weakness of being stuck at low health. Together they make for a pretty fun, engaging, and reckless loadout, able to be competitive with the right person and playstyle even in close quarters combat. Pretty much you start off like you normally would, shooting at a distance, killing some players, leveling up your trait. Then as you hit rank 2 or rank 3, you can move in and start going berserker on everyone, doing one-shot kills to anyone in sight. It's really fun and really crazy. For both loadouts, just keep in mind that we've done our best to counter our weaknesses while boosting our offensive power, but they still come with its share of problems that you need to watch out for. It's very easy to find yourself in situations where you don't have cooling cell and you miss your manual flush, or you are low on health and back to bomb is still on cooldown. Perhaps you didn't even bring back to bomb and you just simply die because Berserker made you stay at low health. Essentially, proper and intelligent use of your cooldowns are needed to minimize the situation. Also, consider using your jetpack defensively. With this loadout, you shouldn't be needing to use it nearly as often to be offensive jumping around and engaging a battle. So use it to run away and fight another day that's perfectly acceptable and required to do well with this loadout. Overall, the DLT-19X isn't that great of a blaster by itself, but paired together with the right loadout can make things a little more tolerable or even downright scary in the right hands. So like I said, go out there, give it another shot with Berserker, be reckless, have fun, and I'll see you guys next time. But until then, as always, may the otaku be with you.